guys, Eric here from Expedition Electric and today we're going to show you how to fix the wobble or the loose motor on the mid-drive BBS HD installation. It's this, this amount of movement in the motor and I'm going to tell you uh, Loctite does not work on its own if you're going over some really bumpy terrain. So today we're going to work on clamping this up to here and around holding it on this part of the frame so that it won't drop down. Okay, so I'm going to be using uh, these hose clamps here that I got from Lowe's for just a couple of dollars. And then I've got these old bike grips that I'm going to put underneath the hose clamps to protect the motor. And then I've got this uh, ink, which is for tennis racket strings. I'll put the link in the description. And then just a pair of scissors and then a drill to tighten the hose clamps. So I'm gonna put it on this way here through the motor, slide it down. So I'll actually tighten it underneath the motor and um, So I'm starting to tighten the hose clamp and I'm going to slip these pieces of grip in between the motor and the clamp. Here, see this strip here? I'm just going to slip it in between the clamp and the motor. And then I'm going to put an additional piece lower. So I got it fairly snug on there. There is a little bit of wiggle room. So now what I'm gonna do is wrap this one through here, lift up the motor, and then clamp it onto here, onto the bike. Will it work? I honestly have no idea. Um, but it's worth a shot, and it's only a couple dollars. And y'all can tell me what I did wrong if it doesn't work. <laughs> but I'm definitely, um, you see, once I get up here, I'm putting another piece of the grip, maybe a little shorter, around it to protect the bike a little bit. So I'm going to use this piece of grip up here to protect the bike. It can be a little tricky to get these hose clamps started sometimes. So there we go, I got this thing started. I made sure that my rubber is still underneath it protecting the bike. I still got a little bit of a wobble here, but the more I tighten it, the more it should pull it closer to the bike frame. I had a very minimal amount of wobble here. Now I'm gonna tighten the other one again. So I'm gonna tighten the big one again here. Okay, this big hose clamp is pretty tight. Now I'm gonna go back to this one again here. Tighten this one one more time. All right, so that's about as tight as it's gonna go. And now notice here as I'm trying to move it around with my hand, it is not moving. You know, it's barely, barely moving. So I could actually probably tighten those up just a tiny bit more, both of them. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Last little thing I'm going to do here is um, actually just paint or put some ink on the metal here so you can't see it as much. I already tested this. It does not come off of the metal. It stays on there um, just to make it blend in a little bit more. I probably could have done this before I put it on there. but And I'll put just a little bit on the motor here across the top. So you can see here we got the motor secured. You can barely see this metal strap that I've now that I put the ink on it and the ink will not rub off. So it is like tennis racket ink. I'll put that in the description. And we have eliminated the motor wobble. It's not going anywhere. I'll definitely give you an update on this and uh, let you know how it holds up after maybe a couple of miles or a couple hundred miles.
when I close my eyes I get a vision that's true Dancing in the moonlight, it's just me holding you Picture perfect glimpses for our time so far away Until we meet, I remember you this way I sick, high and low And I sick, close to close You're in my dreams, night and day Until we meet, I remember you I remember you, I remember you I remember you, I remember you this way